Hi, welcome to the Order Management System, also known as the OMS. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief explanation of the OMS dashboard. I'll show you how we can submit an order. I'll show you how we can make revisions to that order, how you can sign an insertion order, how to approve your order, and how we can search for our order within the system. So let's get started. Now once you log into the OMS using your username and password, you'll be taken to the dashboard. Let's talk about some of the items we see on the screen here. So you'll notice that your orders are grouped together according to any actions required. So these are pending orders. They have not yet been submitted for testing. Next we have insertion orders to sign. These are orders that are awaiting your signature on that insertion order. Then we have pending order approvals. So any orders that have been submitted and tested and are simply awaiting your approval will be located here. And lastly, any recently completed campaigns will appear underneath. Now let's show you how we can submit an order. To place an order, you're going to come to the top right of your screen and click on the Create Order button. You'll see some basic information populate such as your company, the username for the individual who is placing this campaign, and you'll be asked if you're submitting a multiple email drop campaign. Now an example of a multiple email drop campaign would be a campaign that needs to deploy on multiple dates. So if you had a campaign that needs to go out once a week for the next three weeks, you could click yes and indicate the number of drops that you are submitting. But for the purpose of this demo, we're going to show you a simple single email campaign. Next, we can see the different signature methods for the insertion order. You could choose to send yourself an email by clicking on this option here and choosing the signer email from one of these available dropdowns. The easiest way is to simply sign within the OMS dashboard. So we're going to click on that and hit next. The next thing we'll see is our order form, and it's going to ask you what your order type is. The most common type is email. Once you choose your order type, the order form will populate with the necessary information for your campaign. Let's talk about this order form for a second. So first you'll have your basic details, where you can give your campaign a name, which keep in mind, the order name will pull over into your tracking. So make sure you name your campaign in a way that makes it easy for you to remember and recognize. Then you can put in a PO number. So if you need an additional identifier for your email campaign, you could add that. Deployment details. So the broadcast date for your campaign, that broadcast time, as well as the quantity, which is the number of records you're requesting, and your selects in geo can all go here. Next, you'll be asked for the email testing details. So you can provide the from line and subject line of your email and any test and live seeds. The test and live seeds should include a copy of any emails of people who need to be copied on those test and live seeds. So for people who need to review the test and would like to receive a copy of the live seed for confirmation purposes, should be placed in here. You'll also see a toggle for automatic testing. If your campaign is on automatic testing, your test will deploy within seconds of you submitting your campaign, allowing you to check your test very quickly. And finally, you'll be asked for any additional details. If you are providing any one of these three items, simply let us know by clicking yes or no. If you have any special instructions for the campaign, for items that you did not see listed above, you can put them here. And at the bottom we have our file uploads. Here you can upload any files necessary for your order. For example, you could upload your creative or you could upload a suppression file. You could either choose to browse for your files using this button here or you could simply drag and drop your files into this box. You can drag as many files at a time as you'd like. Let's show you what an email form looks like once it's filled out. 
So here we have that same form, but we have all of our campaign details. We have our campaign name. We have all of our deployment details. Let's go ahead and add in a quantity. We have our email testing details. And we have filled out the additional information as well. At the bottom here, let's go ahead and upload our files. So we'll need a creative. And I indicated yes for suppression file above. So let's add a suppression file. Now when you drag and drop your files into the box, they'll appear underneath. The system will kind of guess what your file is depending on the extension. So for example, my creative here is an HTML file. So the system was able to guess that that is probably my creative. But an Excel file could be any number of things. So in this case, I need to indicate what that file is. In this case, that's my suppression file. Now that all of my, my order details have been filled out, at the bottom I have two options. I could choose to save my campaign, which will create a pending order. It will not submit for testing, and I can go back to this order at any time to make any changes needed. Or I could choose to save and submit my order, which will create my order as well as submit it for testing. Because I have all of my details, I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Submit. So here we have our campaign details page. At the top left, we have our order ID, which is unique to our campaign. You can see our campaign name and the order form, which has all the information that we just listed. In the middle of the screen here, we can see any of the files that we uploaded. And on the right, we have our order progress bar. And there's also an order, order progress bar going across the top of the screen. So once your order is submitted, you can keep track of the status of your order by checking the order progress bar. You can see who submitted the order and when. And you can see as your files are approved and when your test has gone out. As our team reviews your order form to ensure that all of that information that is necessary is filled in, this will also be checked off. Now once all of these items have been met, we'll also be able to approve our order. Right now we cannot approve our order and the orange text below will let us know what is causing us from not being able to approve our order. So as of right now, as you can see, our order has progressed, but we have not yet signed our insertion order. Now let's say you got your test and you wanted to make a revision. To make a revision, you'll come to this revision box located in the middle of the screen and you'll click on the Add button. This will open your order form and at this point you can change any of the items on the form. So for example, I could change my broadcast date or maybe I wanted to change my subject line. Let's go ahead and make that a little shorter. Now one thing to note, when you're making a revision, if you make any changes to the from line, the subject line, or the creative, it will automatically re-trigger a retest. Let's go ahead and upload a new creative as well. And as you can see at the bottom here, retest order has been toggled to yes because we made a change to both the subject line as well as the creative. So let's click Submit. And now we can see in the middle of our screen all the different revisions that we submitted. You can see we have a number three because we made three different changes. And if we wanted to look at what those changes were, we could click on All and see an overview of the changes that we made. You can see that we changed our subject line and we uploaded a new file. And under our order progress bar, we can also see that the campaign has already been retested. Now we still can't yet approve our order because our insertion order has not yet been signed. Now there are two different ways that you could sign your insertion order within your OMS. The first way is to come to the billing tab of your order. If you click on the billing tab, you can see the different progress for your insertion order. You can see it has been requested and it has been sent. 
To sign it from within the Billing tab, you would click on this drop down here, where you can either choose to sign electronically within the OMS, or if you needed to, you could forward it for electronic signature. You can also sign your insertion order from the dashboard. I'll show you what that looks like. So remember, we'll come to insertion orders to sign from in the dashboard. And at the bottom here, we have our campaign. And we could choose to sign our, our insertion order by clicking on this blue button here. Let's go ahead and sign that. So what will come up is a Hello Sign document with the information from your order. We'll click on the Signature button. We'll print our name. And then we'll click Continue and I agree. So now you can see our order has disappeared from this box because we no longer need to sign our insertion order. Now if we're wondering where our order has gone, we could come to the Orders tab to search for it. Within the Orders tab, you'll get an overview of all the orders in the system, completed or otherwise. Now the most recent campaign is going to appear on top. We could also search for our campaign using this quick search tool, which is always located at the top as well. Using the quick search tool, we could look for things such as the order ID, we could look for the campaign name, we could even look for the from and subject line of our email. So for example, if I was trying to find our most recent campaign, I could type in the order number, hit enter, and the system will pull up our order for us. There is also an advanced search tool. If we click on that here, you can see we can still search by our order ID or order name, but we can also filter through using order type, order status, and such items as the broadcast date range. And we can sort by any of these items here and choose to sort by either ascending or descending. So let's show you how you can improve your order. Let's go back into our order here. And now that all these items in our order progress bar have been fulfilled and we've, we've signed our insertion order, you can see we have a star button here next to approve. We could either choose to approve it right here from the order progress bar, or once again, we could approve it from the dashboard. When we click approve, the system will ask us to please confirm the broadcast date, time, and time zone once more. If we wanted to, we could make changes to these. So for example, I could remove that time or we could alter the broadcast date. Now one thing to note about broadcast time, this is an optional field. If you do not have a broadcast time listed, the campaign will simply deploy as soon as possible on the date that you had chosen. Let's click Approve. So here we see our campaign has been approved. It has been tested, it has been approved, and when it goes live on the 15th, as we see here, we'll also see this check off here next to confirm order, and we'll also see this check off when our live seed is sent. So in this video, we've gone over the dashboard, we've shown you how to submit an order, how to make revisions, how to sign your insertion order, and how to approve your order, as well as how to search for your order within the system. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.